Are those hot and humid jungles making you sweat through your undies? Are you sick and tired of ash and cliff racer poop in your food? Or maybe you can't relax even for a second without annoying ice cream cone elves knocking at your door. You, my friend, are in need of a high-class luxury getaway to the beautiful, sparkling, and sprawling region of Skyrim. Filled to the brim with a safe and relaxing vacation experiences that you need. Featuring the Steamy Hot Springs, guaranteed to be extremely safe and not dangerous at all. Countless clean and well-preserved ruins of ancient races just waiting to be explored. With so many luxurious things to do, let Skyrim be the place for you. Imperial City Tourism LLC holds no responsibility for loss of limbs or death occurring as a result of visiting Skyrim. What would happen if a snobby and rich High Elf noble decided it would be a great idea to take a luxury vacation in Skyrim? And what else might happen if this particular High Elf also refused to lift a finger to do any work at all? After all, he is on vacation and he deserves to be pampered and pay others to do everything for him. This is Chevy Cheese. And this is another silly Skyrim challenge video. But this time we've got a checklist, a vacation checklist. In this video, we will be answering the question that everyone has always been wondering. Could you take a luxury vacation in Skyrim? As we travel around Skyrim, Chevy will be attempting to complete each vacation activity to the extent that Skyrim will allow. During his vacation, Chevy will never, ever fight anyone or anything. He will, however, be hiring a tour guide slash bodyguard or two to protect him during his vacation. Also, touching dead things and picking stuff up off the dirty ground is gross. Chevy will not be looting anything. No exceptions. He will also only eat pre-cooked meals bought from merchants and will only drink fine wines. In case you were wondering, Chevy is also the most obnoxious character that I have ever created. Are we done? Does he need any tweaks? I think he looks pretty annoying. He's got looks. They're not good, but he's got them. Chevy cheese. For some reason, Chevy could not convince any mercenaries from the Imperial City to accompany him on the journey into Skyrim. Some problem with dragons or something or other. So Chevy showed up alone at the border. This means that before we start checking things off of the vacation itinerary, there are a couple things that Chevy needs to do before any form of relaxation can occur. These people are probably very smelly. Uh, maybe we should keep a safe distance. First order of business, get a bodyguard. I mean, tour guide. Go? We are looking for a very specific follower. Thank you, my good man. Here's a tip. Apparently, there was a Nord in Markarth for hire that knows a lot about the area. Oh my god! Are you going to clean this up? It's very unsanitary, don't you know? Argonian blood wine? That's expensive, therefore it must be amazing. I'll take it. Let me know if there's anything else. Oh my god. I'm forced to sleep in such conditions? Let's have some of this blood wine. In fact, let's just drink all of it. Yummy! Could you guys be quiet whilst I have a conversation with this Nord? He looks like he knows what's going on. He knows the lay of the land. He's eating bread. That's exactly what I need, sir. Consider yourself hired. That's a fair price. My blade is yours. Great. Okay. The first thing we need to do, though, is definitely get you some different armor because you just do not look the part. After stocking up, sampling the local expensive wine, and complaining about the quality of the establishment, it was time to go somewhere more posh. But first, 
We need to see a man about a goat. Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all. Having a bad day, sir? Love your mustache. Hi, I need to stay the nights and then I need to find the man who sells the goats. I also need a good meal. I'm hungry, probably. Hey, look, a double room. Let me know if there's anything else you need. No handouts and no bargain. Never, never. I pay full price all the time. Don't, don't worry. All the time. Ooh, more blood wine. I'll take that. Am I really looking in the wrong spot for this goat vendor guy or what? Because I, I, th I don't think he's here. Alvar spends his days working the field next to cow flop. He owns a bed bedroll beside the field where he will sleep each night. <laughs> well, that's pretty sad and pathetic. Helvar! Yes? Can I buy your goat? Of course. Oh. Thank you. For that price? Sure. <laughs> that was easy. <gasps> oh, hi. You're so cute. Hey there, buddy. Want to come with me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Yeah, I really just don't like my outfit. I think I need, I think I need to look much fancier than this. It has some dirt on it and stuff from, you know, my, my hard journey up from the Imperial City. So it's just, it will never do. I need to go have a bath and go to the, you know, the shops, the fine, fine goods shops. Oh, oh. Oh my god, this is this could be bad. I believe in you, Vorstag. There's a there is an arrow in my ass. Oh, it's gone. Oh hey, the Imperials are helping too. Thank you, friends. Oh my god, that guy has an arrow in his chin. Oh, it's right in his throat. Ouch. Alright, good work. Everyone, including me. Okay, okay, let's go. If that guard had our chin, he'd never been hit with an arrow in the throat. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> my chin is like a, it's like armor for my throat. Hello. Nice day we're having today. Vorstag. What do you need? Okay, got it. Do you actually got it? Cause for some reason, I don't think you got it. Gotta get a good look at the actions. Entertainment, you know, it's entertainment. I need entertainment on my vacation. Wow, um, this might be a problem. I only gave him one potion. Wait, I think he's fine. I think he's still, I think he's good. Oh God. <laughs> ah, no, 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 there he is. Well, we're saying he's definitely thorough, isn't he? Good job. My money has been well spent, good sir. Look at this amazing bridge construction, Varsteg. What is the lore behind this bridge? You're my tour guide, you tell me. Okay. I hope you don't have a rule against goats because I have one. This is my emotional support goat. <laughs> yeah. Come, Hilda. You keep me stress free. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> now, the. Get out of my room, please. Lizard man. Excuse me. Varstag, attack him. <laughs> well, good job. You showed him who's boss anyway. Who's trying to get in here? You need to leave. I don't want to leave. I booked this room. I'm a paying customer. I'm a paying customer. You can't tell me to leave. I paid 10 gold for this room and I won't leave. I refuse. You can't make me. 
He's blocking the guard from coming in here. So he's just... He's just gonna... Say, All right. <laughs> well, the room was nice. Let's try it on. Oh, in private. I assume this is your dressing room where you keep all your cheese. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yay. Oh, my God. Freaking finally put this in the trash. And now that Chevy had supplies, someone to carry them, and a tour guide slash bodyguard, it was finally time for him to start checking things off the vacation checklist. Now, what is Chevy in the mood for first? Wasn't there some mention of a spa of some kind in the commercial? Featuring the steamy hot springs. Yep, that one. Oh my goodness, there's mammoths. I forgot there was mammoths at the hot springs. Well, this looks like, a, this is a nice bubbly hot area here. We should probably check though. We should check to see if we can find the best spot. That over there looks like the best location, but there's a giant there. So is this deep enough? Wait, wait, let's get naked first. Come here. You guys aren't allowed. You're not allowed in the hot springs. Varsnag, get out of the hot springs. Good afternoon. <laughs> Come over here, please. Varsnag. First thing's like, no, I'm staying in the hot springs. There he goes. Okay, you stay, you keep watch because I am going about to get naked and I don't want anyone to attack me. Okay, there we go. Very manly. Yes. Okay. Very relaxing. It's not very deep. I guess that's fine. I should be sitting down anyway, really. Let's have a break. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Just drink some wine in the hot springs. I'll read a book in the hot springs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't know where I got the book from. Maybe it was in, it was floating in the hot springs. I think we're reading a book, uh, how to relax in the hot springs for dummies right now. I thought we were going to definitely be assaulted by wolves, but it didn't happen. Wait until his fingers are pruny. How long does it take for a high elf's fingers to get pruny? His fingers aren't even in the water, though. We could wait for his butt to get pruny. Not sure how we would check that, though. I think he's feeling pretty relaxed at this point. He's checking his vacation checklist. This means we're about to move on. Well, that was a nice soak. I want to see if there's any nice healing potions to get up by where the dragon would be if he was here. Uh-oh. Okay, but don't anger the... Thank you, Mammoth. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, friendly Mammoth. I shall go thank him personally. Thank you, Mr. Mammoth. That was very kind of you to help. I'm glad you're having a good day. I'm doing fine. Did you try the hot springs? It's lovely there. Make sure you stand on the steam vent for some extra pruning. No. Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to one shot me. It would actually be terrifying. Um, I'm glad that we didn't start the main quest to have the dragon here because like Relaxing in the hot springs with a dragon hovering over you would be would be the opposite of relaxing. Is there anything up here? No. Okay. Look, a dragonfly. Oh, that's strange. Oh, never mind. There's skeletons. Oh God. Okay, Varsang had a point. Oh, what has he got? What is that? Is that a, ah! <laughs> what is, is that a Daedric mace? Or is that just a, what, what is that? First tag, first tag. Search the skeleton. What do you mean you can't do that? Was there anything to loot? Someone's got to loot the chest. Let's hope it's not locked. 
Take the chest okay, contents. I can't touch it. It's horribly dirty. It's right there. Okay, got it. Game. Okay, the chest is here, not there. <sighs> Crying out loud. What a lovely wonder. A bonus uh, sight to see on my on my luxurious vacations. That was odd. Tickles. That was an exciting adventure. Now let's find the ruin. Next. No vacation is complete without a little sightseeing. Something Chevy has always wanted to do. See a Dwemer ruin. Apparently, our tour guide knows a thing or two about them as well. So Varsteg led Chevy to the nearest one. Here we are. Not a very tourist-friendly walkway to get to it. We'll have to write that in our review of the ruins. How how <laughs> how touristy it is, how accessible and whatnot. Yeah, very shoddy, very shoddy structure here. Not sure, uh not sure how impressed I am with that. It's very dirty as well. They really should hire some people to keep the place upkept. Hmm. Look at that. That looks like a nice souvenir. What do you need? Grab this for me. Okay, got it. Also, I just realized I forgot I didn't listen to you when you were just talking about the Dwarven Ruin, which is the reason why I hired you, and I forgot to listen to you talk about it. Dang it. Oh, dear. Yeah, you're right. It is a Dwarven Ruin. That's... Yes. Thank you, tour guy. I mean, is it? I don't know. I'm completely... This is all new to me. Hilda, do you want to come in, or would you like to stay outside? Yes, this, this needs to be unruined. So that uh, it's properly beautiful to take a tour of. Oh no! Unfortunately, the first ruin was closed for renovation. Chevy was getting rather chilly as he did not prepare for the weather at all. So they stopped at a nearby cave entrance to try to get warm. I'm cold, but also give me some food. Okay. Go say hello to that person. Just an, uh, you know. Okay, got it. And see if they're friendly. Say hello first. Okay, Varsteg. There's a cave here. Think we should check it out? Yes, we will be checking it out. Hide, Hilda. It's dangerous. This ends now. Behold my power. <laughs> that sounded so cheesy. Behold my level one flames. <laughs> the air is warm here. That's good. Oh my god, it's so dirty in here. I need to change out of my nice clothing. They already have dirt on them, so it will be, it'll be less awful. There's no real reason for us to be in here. Like it is, oh, it is a ruin technically, but it's like a cave thing. There's not really any many sights to see right now. I'm not very impressed. Wow. I kind of wish he was a two-handed, uh, two-handed mercenary, just because it would be so much faster. You know, like he misses all the time because of the range issue, and also he doesn't hit as hard. He's really not very good at fighting. <laughs> could, if you could actually hit him properly, then you would win. There you go. Now hit him. You missed. He's he's down and you're missing. How is that even possible? <laughs> he's running away. No, he's an undead. He's not allowed to run away. Oh my God. Finally. We'll find a chest full of gold in one of these chambers. A chest full of what? No, 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 no. It's not worth it, Varsteg. It's very, very gross in there. Okay. Well, it looks like we can go in this bar at least, so. Let the tour begin. Definitely a little cleaner than the cave. Thinking about it from that perspective. It's Divine preferred. Smile on you, friend. Quit trying to suck up. 
It's not gonna make up for how much you suck in combat. Ooh. Everybody say, ooh, ah. Ooh. As they neared the central chamber of the ruin, Chevy had an amazing premonition of the group's untimely demise should they venture farther forward. A strange orb! Varsnag, touch it. Don't like the looks of this. Touch it. No! Oh! Hmm, maybe these dead bandits should have been a hint. I think Hilda is locked outside. Oh, nope, she phased through the wall. Magical goat. I think we are in some sort of a trap. I don't know. Hilda's just chill, though. <laughs> what, was I supposed to die? Wait, what? <laughs> Being a highly superstitious person, Chevy decided it would be best to hire more tour guides. You know, just to be on the safe side. Heed my word. My Hero. skill in battle is unmatched. Sort of Fortunately for you, that skill can be bought. Chaos. You're hired. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Mm, yeah, I need an actual good meal and a bed that isn't made out of wood and straw, please. What can I get you? Me? Wine? Isn't there a, like, nice luxury hotel in the area that I could stay at instead of this? Looking for a place to stay? Yeah, a different place. Money is no object for Chevy, so he hired a local mage and persuaded the Jarl's Heavy to abandon his post and join the entourage. Let's be honest, he probably needed some fresh air anyways. Ooh, can we hire this guy? As Yar Leila's house guard, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. I'm keeping my eye Okay, but what if I offer you an ungodly amount of money and you came to work for me? He's now a potential follower. <laughs> Look how happy he is. Okay. Now that we have an entourage, I think it is now time to find a Dwemer Ruin and actually check this off the list because so far we haven't made a lot of progress. Okay. Dwarven Ruin Ahoy. Ah, Skeever. Oh, okay. Please let us explore this one game so I can get this checked off my vacation checklist. Will Chevy and friends finally get to explore a ruin? Stay tuned for season two of Imperial Lampoon's Skyrim Adventure starring Chevy Cheese, AKA the next video in this mini series. Our checklist is nowhere near complete and next time we'll be doing exciting things like golfing with the locals, visiting Skyrim's most famous scenic lookout and fine dining with a very special friend.